Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones setups for today. So oscillators have eased off quite nicely on the 8 hour and they are pointing straight down at the moment. There's no crossover like we're seeing on the S&P and uh, big up, big down and then we've got some buyers come in yesterday. So I am a little bit cautious with this one. I'm just going to put these two levels in. You can see fairly decent rejection of 42248, although it's a massive move to the downside. Uh, I just want to double check we didn't test anything else on the three hour. Nope. Sorry, eight hour. Um, so that's a big inside bar with diversions. You can see there's bearish diversions there. The oscillators are pointing down and price is moving up. Um, at the moment, you have bullish diversions as well. So you can see oscillators lower low, price higher high. So uh, your guess is as good as mine there on the eight hour. If you drop down to the three hour, you can see a fairly decent separation of the oscillators and a crossover and we're starting to point to the upside with a big, big, big tail. I'm not going to call that a pin bar just yet. That's more of a tail than anything else. And it does open up a couple of other very important levels. Let's get them in. You can see this pin bar from early last week. And then you've got this tail from the week before. So that's pretty strong zone. Pretty much bottom of range as far as I'm concerned. And now we are top of range. And uh, we did break through the structure on Friday before coming back going into the close. So for me at the moment, looking at that, that's a little bit con um, concerning, but it is more bullish than bearish with the buyers coming in. I wasn't expecting much to happen yesterday, but uh, forgot that uh, the feds were having a little speech. And uh, that's what happened. You can see a big move down and then the buyers came in. So for me, this gap to the downside from last week, is still open you can see we targeted it the buyers are waiting there and if you look at the oscillators now you would expect us to roll over and come back and test the bottom of the range so there's only one way i'm looking to play this today and that's going to be quite simple i need a clear break of 42367 and a pullback onto structure to buy so that's the area to buy but i want to see a clear break and pullback before i look at that and if you look at the 15 minute, you can see oscillators group to the upside. Lots of chaos here. There is merit for a, um, a little pullback off structure where we are. Come and close the gap at 42,300. There is merit for waiting for a pullback here and then wait for the move to the upside. But I'm not interested in that. That could just turn out to be an ambush. We could come all the way back down and test the bottom of the uh range and there's some fairly strong levels lower down in the range so you can see these levels here at 42190 42119 and 42050 there's a lot of structure lower down so the only way i'm interested in playing this is a clear break of 42367 proper break move up then a pullback to come and test any of these tails that have formed yesterday nice big um, inverse head and shoulders that's forming here as well but we want to wait for the break wait for the pullback pullback must be successful with price action in other words inside bars pin bars engulfing bars and they must be on the level you can see there's an engulfing bar on the level there's a pin bar on the level there's an inside bar on the level and you take the break of that structure as your entry and your stop is just below it. Anyway, that's my play for today. Just a bit of a wait and see before I get in on it. But only going to play the break of yesterday's highs. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.